Hey guys, it's Brooke, and today I'm going to be showing y'all some cheer competition essentials. So basically, I'm just going to show you some things that I think are the most important things to bring to a cheer competition, not necessarily everything to bring, just what I think are the most important. So the first one's a little obvious, but it's deodorant. <laughs> and this is the one that I use. It's actually men's deodorant, but I think it works really well. It's the Old Spice Wolf Thorn. And then sometimes I use that one, and sometimes I use this one. And I think they both work super well. I just kind of switch them out. And deodorant's kind of an obvious one, but like, you're going to be working out, you're at a competition, and usually uniforms don't breathe all that well, so you just need to make sure you have it to like, reapply when you need it. My next essential is just a phone charger, and I'd bring one that's like, a mobile charger, so that in case you're not near like, a wall plug or whatever, you can just plug your phone in. Because you don't want to be without like, your phone charged, because like, what if you need to text your mom to see where she is, or like, you don't know where your team is, or you want to take a picture or something, so... I should always bring a phone charger. The third essential is just some water, and I would definitely recommend bringing your own because they do usually sell it at competitions, but sometimes it's like $5 for a bottle of water, and that's ridiculous. So this is free, and also it's just really important to stay hydrated since you need to keep your energy up for your competition. My next essential kind of just applies to you if you like don't want to get your cheer shoes all messed up, but it's to bring extra shoes. Um, I just bring these. You can bring sandals, boots, Converse, whatever. But I personally just don't like walking around a whole lot with my cheer shoes on or especially outside because I don't want to get them ruined so I always just bring extra shoes just in case I need them. The next essential is just some tape and I have in this little bag, like I use tape a lot, I have like KT tape and then I have spongy tape which I'm apparently I'm the only one that calls it that but it's like the flexible kind and then just regular athletic tape and I would definitely recommend bringing this in case someone gets hurt or is just really sore or has a muscle that feels weird. I actually had someone like use my tape at the last competition so you do use it. It's kind of like a just in case thing, but it's important to have. The next one kind of goes along with that, but it is a first aid kit. Obviously, this isn't a first aid kit that I like bought at a store. It's just an old makeup bag that I filled with stuff. Um, so in here I have Advil for obvious reasons, in case your head hurts or you're cramping or something like that. And then I know a lot of people carry Advil in their cheer bag, but I don't think a lot of people carry Pepto, but I do because it sucks to try to like tumble and cheer with a stomach ache so I've actually like given a lot of people Pepto throughout practices so I just bring it to competitions too in case someone doesn't feel well. And then this is kind of extra but I'm like over prepared a lot and it's a stick on heating pad and it lasts and it lasts for like 16 hours. I've used this for like cramps or muscle strains or muscle sprains or pulled muscles because it helps me a lot so I just want to bring this in case someone else needs or I need it. You can just get these at Target. So yeah, I love these. They're a lifesaver. And then I just have some band-aids in there in case you need one for like a scrape or a hangnail or something like that. And then the last thing in my little first aid kit is just some cough drops in case you have a sore throat or you're coughing a lot or you're sick or something. It's just good to have them. My next essential is a stain stick of some sort or I think there's like wipes you can use. But if you like get food on your uniform, which you probably shouldn't be eating in your uniform anyways, but if you do um, or you spill a drink on it, and trust me, this has happened to me like three times before, is like you're at a competition and you're basing your back spot and your flyer and they get lipstick like on your uniform somewhere. So this is really helpful for a situation like that because you don't want to ruin your cheer uniform because they are expensive. <laughs> My next essential is hairspray and this is the Tresemme Beautiful Volume Flexible Finish. But any hairspray will work obviously and this is just kind of to fix any flyaways you have or if your tease is messed up or if you're actually going to tease your hair at the competition then I just think this is good to have. You can also like spray your bow to make sure it stays, so yeah, this is good to have. My next essential is chapstick, and I think this is really important, especially if you have like a lipstick or lip stain that makes your lips super chapped, and it's really easy to get dehydrated at cheer competitions, so I always bring this. This is kind of an everyday essential, but it definitely helps a lot at cheer competitions. My last essential is some BioFreeze, and it's kind of like Icy Hot, but I think it works better because it doesn't like burn as much, and it like numbs the pain and I just think it really helps. It's for like pulled muscles or strained muscles. I always use this. I have friends that use it all the time. So I think it helps a whole lot. So yeah. Okay guys, those are all the essentials and I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. I hope it maybe gave you like some ideas of what to make sure to bring to a cheer competition. Um, so please leave any video suggestions down in the comments below, cheer videos non-cheer videos, just like whatever you want to comment, any videos. And please subscribe to my channel, so I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Bye! Oh, so